Uh, I just want to say thank you, thank you, Lupita, thank you to all the uh, groups that are here, to all of the neighbors and residents uh, that came out here. Uh, this is a really important uh, subject that what we need is to really talk about the issues that have been happening for far too long that have gone ignored in this community. Uh, we have received over 20 complaints per week just on the illegal vending that's taken place. What we're seeing here, and I say this again, the statistics do not lie. Uh, 12 felony arrests last month alone, just in Corona Plaza. 77 felony arrests since the beginning of the year. We, need to de we deserve to have clean streets, safe streets for our community. What we're seeing here is not that. What we've seen is incidents of uh, vendors intimidating uh, business owners, residents, uh, we, we see the delinquency that's taking place here, prostitution that's run rampant along Roosevelt Avenue. You know, this has to change. And that's the reason why working with uh, Mayor Adams, working with uh, sanitation and all the relevant agencies, uh, we have been cleaning up Corona Plaza. Now, I'm not here to take food away from anyone's table, but we also have regulations and we have rules which we have to follow. I voted to expand the number of, of licenses to vendors. Uh, we, I've come up with suggestions of even creating kiosks in Toronto Plaza like we do in other public spaces throughout New York. Creating a vendor zone in the area that's dedicated for the vendors to go and, and operate. All those things have been turned down. And I think that the community sees that this is a moment of reflection and a moment of change. We deserve clean streets, we deserve safe streets, and that's why we're here. We're here to make sure that these, that these streets stay clean. The statistics, I said again, do not lie. This is a moment for us to say, we deserve better, and that's what we're gonna get here. And I'm very proud to stand with all of these uh, great residents here and business owners and business leaders and people from the community that have come out uh, to say enough is enough. And now we're gonna start taking our streets back. We're gonna clean these streets. We're gonna make them safe for everyone. And we also wanna find a solution for our vendors to ensure that they have a safe space to do and operate in the right and appropriate way.